Hello and welcome to the second video about Chef United kits. In today's episode we're going to be looking at the away kits and I'm also going to include third kits in this as they're all pretty much going to be worn away from home so it, it fits the category. So again I've picked five of my favourite Chef United away kits. Unfortunately I've not got all of them but I've got the vast majority of them so um, there should be plenty of visual aids going on in this video hopefully. Right so let's get underway and in number five we have it's the 97-99 away shirt from Lacoff Sportif sponsorship wards. Now this I feel like I'm, I'm starting this off with a, a real good shirt so this is a, it's a lovely waffle material it's uh, it's from 1997 it was unveiled actually in the 96 97 season it was uh, we used it in the uh, in the playoff final well the players have left the relative tranquility of the tunnel for a storming atmosphere inside the stadium balloons have been let off into the sunny sky and the stadium filled with smoke from the fireworks that greeted the arrival of the two teams. It's a lovely shirt, lovely waffle material, and again, as I mentioned in the last video, if you haven't watched it, there'll be a card and a link in the description. Um, it's got a proper sponsor that's actually, I don't know whether it's printed on or, or knitted in, It's, it, but it, what it is, is it's flush, it's not, it's not, printed on or stuck on it's actually in the fabric and I, I really really like that and I really rate it and I wish more my uh, more sponsorships would do it but yeah it's a really nice shirt bit baggy as the style was in those days but yeah there's a few pictures there's a picture of Chris Wilder uh, wearing this having a bit of a tussle with someone I, I don't know where it is but it's it's not not at Bramall Lane obviously or you wouldn't be wearing this shirt but yeah overall I think this is a lovely shirt lovely feel to it I can't imagine it would be particularly nice to play in wet. I, I don't know whether that's true or not, but apparently it lumbered the players about. But, I mean, we played a full season and... Yeah, we played a full two seasons, sorry, in this in this shirt. So, can't be that bad, can it? Right, okay, so moving on into fourth place, we have the 2019-20 away shirt. Now, this is an absolute modern classic. It's already a fair classic shirt. Let me talk you through it. So, it's uh, obviously Adidas, as is our current kit manufacturer, uh, but it, it it's lovely. We've worn it in the Premier League this season. We've, uh, we've, we've had some noticeable games in it. First major thing we had in this is Billy Sharp scoring the first Premier League goal for us, anyway. Um, uh, back in the Premier oh, League. to take it. It's pushed along the deck to Baldock here at the byline. In it goes, low chance. Cleared off the line. Sharp's there battling and he scored! Billy Sharp, the Sheffield United captain, has squeezed the ball over the line. Fitting then that the boyhood blade gets their first goal upon their return to the Premier League. It was a goal mouse scramble and he's done it. They've equalised with just under two minutes of Normal time remaining. It's Bournemouth one, Blades one. And uh, also we've got you know drawing coming from behind. Sorry, um, and and drawing two two with Chelsea in this kit. That was a, a fantastic day. I was uh, I was there on the shed end on that day, uh, and I think we even we even beat um, Everton two nil, having only had one shot on target. You can work that one out yourself. But yeah, overall I think this is just a real modern classic already. My only downside to it is the um, is the 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 logo that's on it, not the logo, the advert, the sponsor. I don't like it. I, I, I don't get me wrong. It's a, it's a it doesn't look terrible on this shirt, but the feel of it, it's printed on. But I, I really love it. I really love all the spots, the dark spots that you get on it. First, my dad thought it was wet, or there'd been something spilled on it in the shop at first, but. No, it's uh, it's just the the feel of the fact that well the, the design of the fabric and obviously you can see there the Premier League badge. Nice to uh, nice to flash at any Wednesday fans as they give you a stick. Um, and another thing I like about this shirt is the fact that it says Blades on the back. I think that's really it's a really nice touch. Really quite like that. And uh, another issue with it is it's it's an Adidas kit, so there's a lot of other clubs use it. <laughs> 
Well, I don't mean they use this kit exactly, but they, they use the same template of this like sort of single colour but with dark spots on it. I think there's clubs such as, uh, I think Sunderland have it as their away kit. It's like a blue colour with red stripes. It's hideous. They played against us in the FA Cup. Um, oh, no, not the FA Cup, the uh, the League Cup and, and beat us. But we'll, we'll gloss over that. I think I've got the programme for that up there. Um, and I think also, who else uses it? Wolves use it. Theirs is orange. That's their home kit. And also, I think Cardiff wear it. But I think Cardiff looks all right. And now moving into third place, it's the 1819 away shirt. Now, unfortunately, I don't own it. But let me talk you through it. It's a very, very, very nice kit. I think it looks fantastic, especially on a floodlit pitch. I think it, it really, really, the light really plays off it really very well. I said really a lot there. I do apologise. Um, <laughs> but I really like the way it, I'll say really again, um, the design on it, I think it's it's really nice. Like the stripe, the horizontal stripes, although they're not, they're not stripes because it's a solid colour, but they're slightly... The light reflects slightly different off it. And I think if you're going to be designing a Sheffield United away kit, now this is something that you're going to notice, especially with the next two choices. They either need to be fluorescent or white. This is fluorescent, and this is actually one of the best kits we've had for a very, very long time. I think it's really nice. Really, really nice. Um, and obviously it's Adidas again, and I think they've done a, a really good job recently. Obviously, I think... It's a, again, it's a template kit, but it's just one of those things. Well, um, and it has actually been used as this season's third kit as well, because obviously the the white that I just had on uh, earlier it doesn't really work um, against other teams that wear white in the kit, such as uh, Southampton. And I know we lost, but and I don't want to talk about it too for too long. But we played in this kit uh, on that game. Um, and I, I think it looked really good. Now I'll, I'll be really, really sad to see it go. And I, I hope to be able to get my hands on it at some point. Um, whether they do a, whether they sell off some of the stock that they've got in from this season, because they haven't actually released the third kit. You can only buy, you could only buy it last year, and they've stopped selling it. So I would really like to get, um, to get one myself. If you, if you see anyone selling one, do put in the comments, and uh, I'll just see about purchasing one off them. Thank you. But yeah, overall, really good memories of this kit as well. Obviously, getting promoted, it's uh, getting promoted to the Premier League in it. Basham's arriving, and he takes the chance this time. And moving into second place, we're getting close now. It's the penultimate away shirt of this video. It's the 1991-93 third kit. I know it's not an away kit, it's, t it's the third kit, but third kits are away kits anyway, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, I think this is an absolute classic. Now, unfortunately, my example is a bit worse for wear. There's no advert on the front. It's supposed to say Lever here. You can sort of see just about where it's supposed to say it. And also on, on one of the sleeves, it's supposed to have some chevrons, um, which it doesn't have anymore. And I, I really like those. So hopefully I'll be able to get them printed back on some somehow but we'll see but let me talk you through the shirt lovely lovely material bit like sandpaper on the inside when you first put it on i'll admit but we'll gloss over that again button up but like a press stud i quite like this about the umbro kits from this this era they're sort of like they're press studs no there we are is it press stud do i mean press stud no i don't do i you know what i mean they connect together so the the collar has them on the on the on the tips, but not the not the actual shirt itself. So I don't know if that's a defect or not, but yeah, that's a bit strange. Um, oddly, with this one, the the United badge has stayed on very well, and so has the Umbro badge. But the United badge has faded; the Umbro badge hasn't. On a lot of shirts from this era, the felt sort of rubs off in the wash, and that's actually what's happened to the. The, the chevrons on here so that's quite unfortunate because I do really like this kit I really like the way it looks I think it it didn't get enough game time as far as I'm concerned because 
I've done a bit of research into it and I really can't find much on the internet about it other than a, a few pictures. And yeah, that's about all you can find. We played in the first division, I think, with this shirt and also the Premier League. And I think we actually may have carried this through all the way, all the way through the Premier League. Um, obviously not to now, but I mean the two seasons that we were in it at the start. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's lovely. I really do. A lot like uh, the away kit from that era, which was just this, but yellow, and had the chevrons as well. There'll be a picture there. Uh, I would like to get one of those one days, but they're quite expensive, and I probably won't be able to afford it, I'll be honest. Uh, but yeah, collar, like a collar. And uh, I really like the, this bit here, where it sort of goes in. I think, I, I just like the, I like it. I really do. I don't know if you noticed. All, all the kits in this video I like. They wouldn't be in this video if I didn't like them. And in first place, it's the final shirt of the video. You know what it is. You probably knew what it is before you clicked on the video. I don't even know why you're still watching. But here it is. It's the 1989-91 Away kit. It's a classic. Look at this. Mine is completely ruined. It's got fag holes in it. It's got the badge is gone. <laughs> but I can't not include it. I can't not wear it. It's oh, it's just fantastic, isn't it? Wonderful. Every United fan, I'm sure, would agree. This this is the greatest ever, if not just away shirt. This is the greatest ever United shirt. Possibly, possibly, I don't know, but I, I just love everything about it. It's just it's the perfect, it's the perfect shirt for a United fan. It's fluorescent. It's the first ever fluorescent shirt. This is something that Umbro likes to brag about a lot. It was also Umbro's best selling kit of the summer of um, 89 when it came out, I believe. I believe that's just my dad talking, so that might not necessarily be true. And to be honest, the, the internet doesn't really have stuff that you can look up on United shirts. So why is this such a big, great shirt? Well, obviously we were promoted in uh, in in 1990 under Dave Bassett uh, and all this was charted in the in the BBC TV program United of which I've got the tape down there now this kit in particular I would like to mention caused a little bit of controversy uh, during its its time as Sheffield United's preferred away shirt um, stewards didn't like it because of course your players and your fans especially your fans, look like stewards. Because at Leicester, um, on the last day of the season in 1990, um, when we were promoted, there weren't... There, there, I don't think there's a person in that crowd that doesn't have this shirt on. So, of course, everyone looks like a steward. <laughs> so, <laughs> most of the time... In fact, I think uh, Leicester City actually tried to stop us from wearing this kit as the, the stewards weren't happy with it because, obviously, everyone's going to end up on the pitch if we were promoted. And they'd like to be able to know which are, which are who. Which are who? Yeah, we, we, who are stewards and who are fans. And obviously you can tell. Um, but Dave Bassett just said, no, we're wearing it anyway, so shut up. But one time when he was less successful was actually at Sunderland, where the kit man had to go out into a, into a shop somewhere and uh, buy 14 or so. I, I think that's how big a squad was in them days. Um, 14 blank white umbro shirts and have the badge printed on it and the and the labor sponsorship printed on it as well so we ended up uh, playing one game uh, in the i think 1991 season against sunderland at roker park in a in a sunday league kit that just had a a united badge stuck on it and a, obviously the first division patch which was just the efl patch then um but yeah that's a bit of interesting trivia i thought i'd uh i'd leave you with there but yeah i think it oh, it can't not be this shirt as the as the best shirt we've ever we've ever had um which is why i've left it until last because in last place in these videos is obviously the best shirt now one thing i would like to add about this shirt is there have been one or two um reproductions of it and you may be thinking well sam why don't you just get one of those but um they don't look as good they don't have the same the fabric's all wrong the fabric needs to be this fabric that that makes you question is it green or is it yellow that shirt looks green and it always looks green because the fabric's green it doesn't have this fluorescent style to it and also i just i keep looking down at it and thinking jesus the the fabric on it's gorgeous 
the way the pattern is in it, it's very, very of its era, but it's very nice. And I'm, I really wish my dad had looked after it a bit better. Alas, he didn't. So here we are. I think are. that about sums it up for today. Uh, hopefully at some point, Chef United will uh, release its new kit. I mean, I'm, I might be saying this, and by the time you're watching this, they will have. If it is that pink leopard print away kit, I'm going to have a fit because it looks stupid. It will end up on a, on a list of worst United kits ever. Why Why pink? Shocking idea. Although at least it's not as bad as Wednesday's, who's just, it's, it's urban camo is what they have. Um, none of them are going to be able to see each other. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out my other channel for Chef United old videos and adverts and things. I've uploaded all sorts on there. So if you, if you want a nostalgic trip down memory lane, go and check that channel out. It's called the Red VHS. There'll be a link in the description and probably a card at some point in the video. But I shall leave you there. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Uh, and I shall see you in the next one. For now, in a bit. Oh. And Cooper in trouble potentially here, Billy Sharp. Basham's arriving, and he takes the chance this time! Giant goal for Sheffield United!